going to show you how to make a blind contour drawing. Blind contour drawings are used as a means of coordinating your hand and eye movement. And they help you to draw better. I wouldn't have you do something that was a waste of time. Blind contours, if I'm going to t sit down and draw something, a landscape or whatever I'm going to draw, I, sometimes I'll do a blind contour first because it really helps to make that mental shift from left brain to right brain also. And many times when we draw, I've said it many times before, but a lot of times when we draw, you draw much better when you're not speaking because your left brain is verbal and your right brain is visual. And so if you're going to try to rely on the right brain for something, a lot of times if you turn off your talking, it works much better. Um, I'm going to first demonstrate on this piece of paper what I don't want, and then I'll demonstrate on this piece of paper what I do want. <coughs> you'll be looking at the subject, which is then going to be your hand, and you'll be continuously looking at the subject and not looking at the paper. That's why we call it a blind contour. Um, the contour of your hand is just simply the edge. And you're going to be looking at the contour of your hand and envisioning an ant crawling along the contour or edge. And you'll be recording its progress with your pen. Now, if you have a problem with that, you might get a partner to take the pencil and sit across from you and just slowly touch and go across the contour of your hand. And that way, you, your pencil is going to be on the paper recording the progress of their pencil. Sometimes that makes it easier for you to understand what you're supposed to be doing and to actually do what I want you to do. Um, actually, else? No. This is what I don't want. So you're sitting here and you're not looking at the paper, you're just looking at your hand. I don't want to see this. That's not a blind contour. I was doing it blindly. I didn't look at the paper. And you might need to take down your paper on your desk, too. But I just, I drew what I knew. I have a thumb and four fingers. I drew what I knew. The key to drawing is not to draw what you know, but to draw what you see. For instance, if I'm drawing the tabletop and it's across the room from me, I know if it's a round table that this, it looks like a circle. But if I'm sitting far enough away from it and foreshortening takes over, then it becomes an ellipse. So I know it's a circle, but I'm going to draw what I see, and what I see is an ellipse. There's a difference. That's how you make your drawings more believable. <coughs> this is what I want you to do. This will be the demonstrated paper that I do an actual blind contour on, and this is what I want you to do for me. <coughs> I'm just recording the progress of my eye moving along the contour or edge of my hand. It's not going to look just exactly like the hand, but you will recognize some of the pieces. Now I'm going to be quiet. I'm taking my time. And I'm not looking at the paper. And sometimes when you're drawing, it helps to draw the negative space. If I'm having problems drawing the actual subject, I'll draw the space around it or the shape that's created between it. <coughs> 